Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan from Total Health and Wellness Center. What I want to talk about today is just 10 dietary changes to help improve your thyroid, adrenal function, and stabilize your blood sugar. So 10 dietary, 10 dietary changes to help improve your adrenals and your thyroid that you must do if you suspect any type of problems with your adrenals, your thyroid, and your blood sugar because those all work together to maintain, to maintain your body's normal function throughout the day. So change number one, very, very important. We all heard about, we all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And the answer is, whether or not, yes it is. Why? Because when you were sleeping, you just came off a six to eight hour fast. So your body needs fuel first thing when it wakes up in the morning. So change number two, you have to eat within one hour. Now eating within one hour, that does mean 60 minutes because if you miss breakfast, this is the worst meal to skip, even if you don't feel like eating, because remember, your body's gas tank is empty. So change number three, you want to eat a well, well high quality protein-based breakfast. Why? Because protein is nutrient dense, and it's very important to have a protein-based breakfast because what happens if you skip it, this is where you get physically or mentally tired usually around mid-morning because you have a blood sugar that crashes. So breakfast ideas. I always recommend a minimal of 20 grams of protein for breakfast. And that can, you can get that from anywhere from, I always recommend a high quality protein shake. Mix it with almond, uh, almond milk, coconut milk, or if you don't like those two, I recommend water. Now, what I rec I highly advise not the dairy milk because a lot of times the people who have food sensitivities that dairy, mar that dairy milk, what it's gonna do, it's gonna spark um, systemic inflammation. Or organic eggs. Each organic egg, egg contains anywhere from six to eight grams of protein per egg. And you do not wanna throw away the, uh, the yolk because the yolk is nutrient dense, okay? It also contains a very, very important element for our eyes. As we grow older, it's called lutein. So you want that yolk in the egg. Also too, Chicken patty, chicken or turkey patties, or chicken or uh, chicken or turkey sausage links. Those are really nutrient dense, full of protein as well. You know, I always say to my patients, get creative. I have patients that come up and they tell me that they found ideas on YouTube and also to Google to help improve the quality of protein breakfasts uh, that make them change their overall dietary habits. So again, fact check: having breakfast at breakfast cereals. Um, orange juice in the morning. The reason why that's bad is because it's full of carbohydrates and sugars. What happens, it raises your blood sugar very rapidly and then shortly after it crashes. So when you have a protein-based breakfast, you want a good combination of protein and dietary fats because those two will help uh, with your long-term energy source. Change number four, you want to eat every two to three hours. Why? Don't wait until you're hungry because if you wait until you're hungry to eat, you'll tend to overeat. And by going long time with in between meals, you run the risk of having low blood sugar, which that taxes the adrenals. And also too, it slows down the metabolism because your body knows it's gonna be fed, uh, if, there's a, if there's gonna be a long time in between meals, your body's gonna slow down its metabolism. Why is that important? Reason being is because you want to avoid having low blood sugar. So when you have low blood sugar, you're stressing out the adrenals. So when you stress out the adrenals, this is where you get irritable, this is where you get fatigued, this is how you get brain fog. So the key, the key is you want to avoid stressing out the adrenals uh, by not eating long, you know, having long term in between eating. Suggestion, a lot of people say, well, I don't remember to eat or I'm too busy or I just cannot, I, can't, I, I just forget. My answer to that is always, we have phones that we carry around us every single day. Create an alarm on your phone every two to three hours, and when that goes off, it reminds you to eat. It takes 21 days to create a habit, so after a while, once you gain the benefit of eating two to three hours, you're gonna know. Your body's gonna tell you it needs to be fed. Now, very important, I don't recommend having big meals every two to three hours. What you wanna do, you wanna have small meals throughout the day, protein-based, and also too with fat. The benefit, because what's going to happen is you're going to supply your, your brain and tissues with a constant supply of uh, food uh, fuel and help your metabolism. 
Okay, change number five. You want to snack on what's called low glycemic foods. Now, this is where you're gonna have to get creative because there's high glycemic foods and there's low glycemic foods, and that's called the glycemic index. Now, what that means, it measures the increase in blood glucose, which is blood sugar, levels during the first two hours after having that certain carbohydrate meal. So what you want, you're looking for the low glycemic index foods. Change number six, very important, this piggybacks over change number five. You want to never consume the high glycemic foods without a source of proteins or good, di uh, good dietary fats. Why? Because adding a protein or fat will actually slow down the absorption, you're not, which is going to avoid having the high, uh, high raises in blood sugar as well as crashing shortly after. Change number seven, very important. I went over this in one of my previous videos about adrenal fatigue. You want to avoid any beverages that will stress out the adrenals. And what this means, this is your caffeine, this is your monster drinks, this is your sodas, this is your Red Bulls. What if you feel like you need sh uh, coffee to get you out of the to, to start you up first thing in the morning, you're most likely going to burn out your adrenals. So this, you want to avoid these products, okay, to help stabilize the function of the adrenals. Change number eight, you very important. You want to start to eat a well balanced meal, consisting of vegetables, quality protein, and healthy fats. What you're looking for for a quality protein, you're looking for, if you're going chicken, you want to do the free range chicken or the cage free chicken. If you're going for the beef, you want to go for the grass fed beef. Now there's a very big difference in grass fed beef and grain fed beef. Grain fed beef, okay, grain creates inflammation. Those are high in omega-6. So when you ingest that, actually you're increasing more inflammation in your body. So this is where you, if you have grass-fed beef, that's more highly in omega-3s, and actually that doesn't create a lot of as much inflammation as grain, as I'm sorry, as the uh, grain-fed beef. If you're a fish eater or a seafood eater, you want to look out for the wild-caught uh, salmon or any type of fish that you're looking out, that, that, you, that you like, you want to get wild-caught, okay? So again, this is a picture of the healthy plate. Two-thirds of the plate is you want to be vegetables. You want to have as, much, as many vegetables as you like, why a vegetable is so beneficial? Because they're high in uh, antioxidants, they're high in phytonutrients, they're high in vitamins, okay? So two thirds of your plate is wanna be vegetables. Also too, it's high in dietary fiber. Uh, the other third you wanna divide into the proteins and grains. You wanna watch out for the grains and you wanna avoid certain grains, a lot of wheat and gluten, because if you had food sensitivities, that is going to spark an infl inflammation in your body, so you wanna limit those grains. Change number nine, very important, you want to exercise regularly. Now, exercise is beneficial on, on many levels, but how it affects the brain, it, what it does, it releases, increases the levels of endorphins. Now, endorphins, that's your feel-good hormones. Also, too, exercising regularly, especially first thing, will help boost your metabolism, helps incre help increase blood flow to the brain, helps stimulate our muscle-building process. So, if that's anything from walking daily or going to the gym. Now, walking daily, if you can only walk for five minutes, that's fine because five minutes today is gonna to create 10 minutes tomorrow. So that's very important. So change number 10, very important. Again, you wanna regulate your sleep routine. Now aim for a regular rhythm of going to bed and waking up roughly at the same time every day. Now, if you want to sleep in on the weekends, that's fine, okay? However, you still wanna to go to bed at the same time so you don't mess up that rhythm that your body's so used to. And you want to allow sufficient wind down time before sleep, and that means turning off any type of electronic devices at least 30 minutes before bedtime because turning on electronic devices, especially our cell phones, our computers, and so forth and so on, what that does is it actually stimulates our brain. So that slows down that wind down time, okay? So you want to turn off all electronic devices about 30 minutes before bed. So those are my 10 changes that you need to, again, help stabilize the adrenals and thyroid. Uh, you can visit my website, www.totalhealthdupage.com. I'm located at 20, 26 West 276 Geneva Road here in Carroll Street, Illinois. My phone number is 630-653-2225. Thanks for watching and have a good day.